Daniel, your mock draft. You have the Knicks taking Patrick Williams at eight, man. Talk to me about what you like about this kid. I, what I like, man. I don't like anything about him. I love everything about him. First mm. and foremost, he's coming in with an NBA big boy body. Mm. You know what I mean? We're talking about 6'7", six, 6'8", six, 235 out of the gate. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, he is the youngest guy in this draft class. Um, so if you're coming in at that body and that size, as a kid still, essentially, I think out of the gate, that's number one. When you talk about shooting, the shooting potential is there for him. And, and I'm not even talking about a statistical standpoint. Just do the eye test and just look how he's getting that shot off. Look at the form. Look at the rotation. Everything off the catch is smooth as butter. So I like that first and foremost. And then I think going forward in this league, we're going to have to need uh, we're going to have to want a, a guy that's going to be able to lock somebody down. Like when we talk about going against Kevin Durant, we talk about going against, you know, Kawhi Leonard's, we're going to need somebody who's going to be able to guard them. Um, I don't know if RJ is going to be that guy. I, I would guess not at 6'6", and how much we're going to ask from him on the offensive end. I wouldn't even want to put that on his plate. So I think if we can get a guy like Patrick Williams, who has all of this, this upside and tools defensively, we can bring somebody like Thibodeau, in which we've done to, to breed this guy to be that stopper. Thibodeau has the history with these guys to breed them and, and, and create them, or not create them, but you know, develop them into being shut down guys. And I think he has playmaking potential on the pick and roll. Um, he shot the ball excellent at the free throw line, 83%, 32% from the three. He didn't get a lot of opportunity shooting the ball. Nobody really did at Florida State. Mm -hmm. And he came off the bench because he was a kid. But I think if we take that chance, I'm looking at a guy that reminds me of Paul Millsap, a winning player. Everywhere Paul Millsap has been, he's won, whether it was in Utah, Atlanta, mm -hmm. the Nuggets now, winning players in winning environments that won't necessarily be your stars, but these are guys that are going to allow you to have a chance to win and compliment guys like a Mitch and an RJ. And yeah, he may not come in and, and be that guy right away, but long game, like long you mentioned, game. chess moves and actually developing our talent, if we do that with him, Man, I even see some Kawhi in him. Mannerisms and just the size and the movement. Man, I, I think he's that dude. I think he's that dude. And he's he, he, this is a swing, uh, a, a swing for the fences. But like me and swing, you said, yeah. this is what we need to do. High right? risk, high reward, bro. High, yeah. high risk, high reward. Again, I love Vassell. Um, one thing about those Florida State boys, whether it's him, Vassell, uh, Jonathan Isaac, even my guy Tony Douglas, who they had a long time ago, they're yeah, going to play Tony defense. Douglas. You know, Leonard Hamilton boys are going to play defense. Um, I think for his size, his, his handles is nice. You know what I mean? So as you yeah. see, the, the playmaking capability is there. You see those flashes as well. And then what I also love about him is he's a guy at the next level that you could potentially put at the three, the four, maybe even a small ball five, depending on how you match up. So he could come in and maybe give you that that vers versatility is what I'm saying, is that key Ver word. So Versatility is the word, man. I, and I'm glad you're on that same page. It looks like from the, the reading the chat, they're with it. Versatility is essential. I think that's where the, the NBA is moving. I know we talk about three-point shooting, positionless basketball, but it's always going to be position. It's always going to be a need for everything that the game has to offer. But versatility is like everything in one, like being able to do multiple things. And yeah. the way the league is going, you some nights you're going to play against a Houston Rocket that has P.J. Tucker at five. Mm -hmm. Then the next night you can play against a team that has Anthony Davis at power forward and then Dwight Howard at center. So we got to be able to, to, to be able to compete against no, anybody, no matter what they're throwing on the court, we got to be prepared for. And um, we, we kind of have those guys already. Frank, I think, I don't know his future with us, but Frank is a guy that I think you can play one through three. I think if you got a Patrick Williams, he can play three through four. And then, like you say, there's a p potential of playing a small ball five. Um, RJ is a two, three. Sometimes you can even play him as a primary ball handler mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, in a one dynamic type thing. And then whoever we would take at 27 and, and potentially in the second round, um, I think those guys that would still be available are more position guy they're more versatile like yeah. somebody yeah. mentioned the tyler bay i think yeah. he's a guy that's a multi-positional guy as well at next level so versatility 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 but most importantly taking that chance patrick williams is that chance that i'm fiending for our team to take now